Hello friends, I have a really fun project that I'm gonna start with you on. I was invited to a virtual Christmas exchange party with my friends and we put our names into the hat and you keep it a secret until I'm assuming you give them the present and then we're gonna do a virtual call opening the presents on the call and then have a little as festive of a party as you can have on virtual <laughs> but I'm going to make this friend a charcuterie board and I have always wanted a charcuterie board ever since they became popular but I'm gonna make her one but it's gonna be really cute and I want to bring you along the process so let's head to Home Depot and I'll show you the supplies that I'm gonna get to make it So our next step is to sand our board down. It's already pretty good, you just wanna get it nice and smooth. So you're gonna start with a small grit on your sander and work up to the highest grit. The highest one I've got is 220. We're gonna start with this one and then I have one more I think and then I can do this one. All right, so I've got it all sanded down, and I wiped it down with a little damp towel. Sometimes I can um, tell where I haven't sanded if I kind of wipe it down, and I kind of feel over it, make sure I haven't missed any spots. So before we do the mineral oil, we're going to go ahead and drill the holes for the handles on each side and get these ready to be attached. Then I'm going to wipe it all down with the mineral oil, and then we'll be able to attach these. All right, I have marked off where I wanna put my two little handles, and then I put them in about half an inch from the edge of the board on each side. Basically, I just found the widest length across the whole thing, found my center point, matched them, kind of eyeballed it, and I think they look pretty good. Next, we're gonna just drill the pilot holes so I can kind of sand around those holes and kind of clean them up, and then we're gonna oil it, then I can attach the handle. 